Welcome back to Hoop Film Study, the channel where we break down the skills and talents of basketball's rising and current stars. In today's episode, we're shining a spotlight on a player who has left an indelible mark on the NBA, Paul George. With eight NBA All-Star appearances, six All-NBA team selection, and four NBA All-Defensive Team honors under his belt, George's legacy on the court is undeniable. But his journey to greatness doesn't stop there. He also claimed the coveted 2013 Most Improved Player Award. Join us as we analyze his strengths, weaknesses, and what makes him a standout player in the league. But before we do that, please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe while also hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. Without further ado, let's get started. The one thing that separates Paul George from other players is that he has a high release point but he also is great at creating space for himself at six foot nine. Look how he just gives him a slight nudge, finds his spot, raises up over the top of him, and knocks down the mid-range jump shot. So I really like this clip. Watch how Kawhi Leonard gets the ball in the, in the post, and then watch how Paul George just does a simple relocation to get open. He gets the ball at the top of the key, squares his body, high release point, like I said before in the beginning of the, of the clip, knocks down the three-point wall. He's gotten way better at this since the beginning of his career. So this play might not be that all spectacular, but what I like about this play is that the reason why they scored was because of Paul George's initial pass to uh, Mason Plumley. Plumley gets the ball, could have actually dunked it there, but decided to make a crazy pass out to the perimeter to I think Bones Highland for a knockdown three. Again, not a spectacular play, but I like how Paul George fought to get open, goes around the screen, and just makes a simple read to uh, uh, open Eric Gordon for a deep, and I mean deep, three-point shot. Again, basketball cue off the charts. So I love this clip. It shows, his, shows us Paul George is more than just an offensive player. He gets the steal here, takes it full into the court, and windmill dunks it. And right after he's done windmill dunking it, he blows a kiss to the audience and gets back on defense. So in this clip, Paul George is going to show you that he has court vision as well, too. So I like this. He gets the, he gets the pick from uh, Zubak, decides, you know what, I'm going to dump it off to the big man for alley-oop. Easy pass, and it was a great read and react from him as well. Again, Paul George is an elite player. So in this clip, it screams Mamba mentality for me. Watch how Paul George calls for the ball in the post and turns and face up his defender. A quick jab step to a pull-up jumper over a 6'4 defender and just knocks it down. So I think this is a set design play to get Paul George open. Watch how Bones Highland passes the ball to Mason Plumlee, then goes around Mason to set a, a quick screen for Paul George and for Mason to to hand off the ball to Paul George. Paul recognizes the defense is set up, does a Euro step into the lane for a floater to his right hand, and finishes with a over the contested defender. Great play, great design. You're gonna always hear me keep raving about Paul George's two-way ability. Watch how he gets this easy steal on Anthony Davis and takes it full into the court for a wide open dunk. How has this man never won a Defensive Player of the Year award? So now we're here at the areas of improvement. And you'd be surprised, I have no critique of Paul George's game. This man is going into his 14th season and he seems to get better each year he plays. He does everything you want on the court. He's, he's elite at, at offense and defense. He can pass, he can shoot, and he's not willing to stick his nose in there and guard the best defender. The only thing I would probably wanna see him do is stay healthy on the court. Because they say the best ability is availability. And I know that's something that he cannot help, so I'm not critiquing him about his health. Everybody, every player wants to be on the court, even when they're not 100%, so I'm not critiquing that. But I understand, I'm starting to understand why the younger generation looks up to him more and more. His game is flawless. I love a complete player. I love an all-around player. Someone who's not afraid to do everything on the court to secure the win. But 
that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the future content. And also, comment down below if you have any suggestions for future videos. I'd love to hear from you guys. Until next time, take care.